Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. On today's video I am going to be doing a fun journal with me video and I do apologize that the image is a little bit blue. Um, I am in the middle of summer here in Florida and the, the lighting is a little bit weird in the summer. Instead of coming more in my window it tends to go over my house more so the lighting isn't as yellow and pretty so I apologize. But Moving on, I am going to be working in my personal journal and I'm going to be using all the supplies that I pulled out that have like a red, white, and blue vintage postal air mail type of vibe and um, I'm going to be doing three different layouts today so I hope that you enjoy the process and I am going to be continuing to answer questions that I got during my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. And the main questions I'm going to focus on today, because I seem to have gotten quite a few of the same ones, um, basically how I got into journaling, what age did I start to journal, and how many journals have I completed. So I have always kind of been into the analog mindset. I've always had a journal. I've always loved to write letters. I remember um, I started writing letters to my... Um, I had a friend that I lived like a neighbor it was one of my girlfriends and we moved and we started to write to each other and anyway so once I got into like middle school and you got like your 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 educational your academic planner your school planner and you had to keep track of your homework and your schoolwork and all the things that you had to do I think that's kind of where my love of journaling and, and keeping track of what I do I think that's where it started pretty much I love keeping track of everything I do. I kept track of things personally all throughout high school. So I had like a personal like planner and then I had my academic one that the school gave us and I kept track of the things that I did on the weekends, what I did with my boyfriend, if I went shopping or if we did anything as a family. I just always kept track of that kind of stuff. And I actually have, I think three or four of them still like stored away somewhere. And I just have always loved that. I love being able to go back and look at when I did something and remembering those fun things. And it just sort of carried over into my adult life. I had to keep track of, um, I was doing shift work when I first got married. So I had to keep track of my always changing schedule. I had to know what I ne needed to know when I needed to be somewhere or if my husband had an event or if we needed to go somewhere to do something. And I just, I have, I have done that my entire adult life. And I have most of those old planners still not pretty at all. It was never decorated. I didn't start decorating in my planners and journals until a few years ago when I started doing it more creatively and less about keeping track of things and memory keeping um, but I will say I started getting serious about journaling back in 2015 when I shifted from Project Life over to Traveler's Notebooks and journals and stuff like that. And I was sort of turned on to the Traveler's Notebook world um, by another Florida gal. Her name is Tammy. She's known as Paper Tams. She has a YouTube channel and she's on Instagram as well. But I had planned a trip over to the west coast of Florida and I had found a store and she had done a vlog of walking through that store and sharing the supplies that she purchased in that store. And um, I was just doing like recon on what the store was like. And she actually purchased a Traveler's Notebook and she was sharing about it and I got totally turned on by it then back in 2015. And then when I went, when I visited the store, it is now out of business, unfortunately. It was Whimsadoodle. They do not exist anymore. Um, they closed down not long ago, but unfortunately they don't exist anymore. But I bought my first Traveler's Notebook then. I bought the original Pan Am Blue and... Um, then I just sort of went into the creative journaling world back in 2015. So that's kind of where my journaling sort of process began creatively and then how I've always had like a mindset of that. Um, I do not know how many completed journals I have, probably in the realm of 20 or 30. <laughs> um, I don't keep track of that stuff. Once I'm finished with them, I store them away and... Um, if I ever need to look back at them, that's the only time I ever really pull them out. So 
Um, yeah, another question that I got is how I got into doing my videos and how I got into YouTube and why I started um, filming. And that's pretty simple. I, um, I got into filming because I was so inspired and motivated by the things that I was seeing online by people like My Life Mitts and Inky Quill and... Um, I, I, I don't even, I can't even remember. I just remember those two women stood out to me because back then I was still just like scrapbooking and, um, I just decided that I wanted to kind of give back to the community and share the things that I was doing as well in hopes of inspiring somebody else and motivating another mom to document and to share and to create and to enjoy this creative outlet. And so um, I started filming on my iPhone and had no idea what I was doing and <laughs> had no skills whatsoever, but I was still determined to do it. And then um, I slowly sort of changed my style and wanted to change what I was doing and just slowly sort of created my style and my look and what I wanted to project and that's where we are today <laughs> um yeah but that's that's the only reason even today why I do what I do it is purely only to inspire and to be a part of a community and to um just to like share and to be a part of something so that's why I do what I do. So you're going to see me flipping back and forth through these pages. And it's just because I want to know where I should be decorating on my page. Because I don't want to have like the same clusters and the same spots on the pages. And so I want to kind of move them around all over the page. And so that's why you see me flipping back and forth so I don't do the same things. So I'm going to ask another a question. Um, I answered this last time, but where do I get my beautiful and unique ephemera? I get them in at antique malls and eBay and Etsy and my pen pals. Um, what keeps me motivated to keep producing content for social media and YouTube? The answer is super simple. It is, has always been, and will always be you to inspire you, to motivate you, to encourage you to take time for yourself and to make things that you love and to encourage the act of memory keeping so that future generations can um, learn by our experiences. And I just, I love that. That's, that's the whole point. What are my favorite videos to film? Any video. I love filming. It doesn't matter all of them. I love filming everything. <laughs> um, would I ever journal in a passport traveler's notebook? I do journal in a traveler's notebook passport size. I do my journaling for my babies in a passport traveler's notebook size. I don't share it quite as often just because I don't journal in it quite as often. Um, but I do love that size for that purpose. I could never journal on a passport size for the type of journaling that I do personally for me and my thoughts, just because I have a lot to say and the passport size is perfect for baby journals. So that's what I use the passport size for. Um, let's see what motivated me to start YouTube. I think I answered that one. Um, long-term hopes and dreams and goals for my life as far as crafting. Um, that is a good one. That's a deep one. That's, that's pretty deep. I do not have any long-term hopes, dreams, or goals. I only want to inspire. That's it. I don't, I did not get into the YouTube game to become famous. I did not get into the YouTube game to have recognition or to be to be popular or to um, have a following. I, I did not do it for any of that. You know, I don't even look at my subscribers as like a goal. I look at my views. How many people watched my video? How many people did I inspire? And how many people enjoyed the content? That's it. That Those are the only numbers that matter to me. Because if you're not enjoying what I'm doing, then I'm not doing it right. And my whole job, my whole purpose of putting the work and effort into this is to create inspiration and to be a part of this community that we have. So that's, that's pretty much, that's the answer will always be. <laughs> I don't do it for recognition. I do it for, um, 
inspiration just to be a part of your life and to encourage you to create and to make things pretty. Um, do I ever have a plan or do I wing it? 90% of the time I wing it in all aspects of my life and in every way, <laughs> especially with journaling and filming. The only thing I plan in my journaling, in my crafting, in my creating are the supplies that I want to use. I challenge myself to use certain supplies so that I keep myself accountable for my purchases and my collecting. And um, I love having a small pile of things to work from. So every month I usually have a plan of the supplies that I want to use. This month it's airmail, tickets, postage, um, like the red, white, and blue, all of those things that I love that I hoard and collect and I'm using them. That's my challenge. And I do that every month. I challenge myself to use something different, do a different style use up the supplies that I have. So that's the only plan that, that I ever go into anything with. Um, do I know how to make DIY journals? Yes, not great at it. <laughs> um, I have made a couple junk journals for my friends. Um, I think I did one during a YouTube live once and I'm not good at it. I'm not a professional. I don't claim to be. So, um, how has my style evolved over time? I'm pretty sure I did a video quite a while back sharing my notebooks and where they have progressed over the time. So I will try to link that video down below for you so that you can see that. It's not a great video. It's not my most popular one, but alas, it, it shows where I started and where I'm at now. So I am bringing it up close for you guys to see. I hope you have enjoyed the answers to all the questions that you have. If you have any more, always leave them down below. And that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.